Hi guys, uh, this is Onyx. Um, this is a video to show you how to speed up your internet, internet connection by changing your uh, DNS server. Uh, it will speed up uh, opening browsers up, uh, opening uh, websites up, wait until they fully download and install. So uh, I'm just going to show you how to quickly do that. Uh, if you go into your start and you go down to control panel or up to control panel, uh, if, you've got, if you're on Vista or um, XP, it should have uh, Classic View or Control Panel Home. I go on Control Panel Home because it's easier to find things on. If you go to View Network Status and Tasks, and you want to View Status, uh, on here it says on the bottom left, it says uh, once you're on uh, this page here, go on to Properties. Uh, if you haven't uh, disabled the user account settings, then it'll come up a box saying continue, blah 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 blah. Uh, on It'll say wireless and uh, connection properties. Uh, go on, make sure you're on networking. Um, on XP, you will only have internet protocol. You won't have version 6 or 4. On Vista, you'll have 6 and 4. If you go on to uh, internet protocol version 4 um, and go on to properties, uh, you should have internet protocol version 4 properties. Uh, if you go down here, it normally would be clicked on to obtain DNS server address automatically. What that means is it's um, <clears throat> every time you open up your internet, internet, uh, internet browser and you type in a internet address, your um, your computer will try and find. Uh, it will search over several servers to try and find the website and the details and the downloads for the website to uh, view the images on there and stuff like that. Uh, which slows down your computer because it takes quite a while to, uh, on certain sites, it takes quite a while to find the servers to do that. They're quite quick sometimes, depending on your internet speed. I have 8 megabytes per second, uh, which isn't that bad. Uh, but if you go on to use the following DNS server address, what this is does is I'm going to give you a, a DNS address, uh, server address, uh, to a place called Open DNS. Uh, now this place has got their own dedicated server to you. There's one in London for Europe, and there's one in I think it's Los Angeles for uh, America. Uh, uh, Ameri the, 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 the both Americas. Um, very good, very fast. And all this means is instead of your computer having to search 10 to 15 different servers to try and find the website information, it'll it'll um, just search on one of them, the closest one to you, either the London one or the Los Angeles one. Uh, and it'll find the website a lot quicker and download it a lot quicker which means it'll pop up and it just speeds your systems up a bit and it speeds your downloads up a bit as well because it means it doesn't have to find so many seeds it, it, it finds more seeds because it's saved onto their server uh, and they've got a dedicated server just for doing this and if you go onto this and you go onto preferred DNS settings and if you just click 208 on that one 67 on the next one 222 and 222 and then if you go down to alternate uh, DNS server 208 67 220 220 and all that means is the alternate one is if if it can't find the information on the preferred DNS server it will search the other one or the Los Angeles or the London one so you have a backup system so if you can't find it on one you'll definitely find the other one because someone must have accessed it before because every time someone accesses the open DNS server it will save the information off that website onto it uh, and if you think you've got people in from Europe and the Americas then you've definitely got most of the websites on the internet. Uh, so if you just click OK and then close that down and then close that one down and if I just close it then that's all the um, the configuring part to do about it and if you just open up your web browser I'm on google.co.uk on my Internet Ender Explorer uh, you can go into Firefox, it doesn't really matter um, uh, you can go into google.co.uk or .com depending where you come from in the world and type in open DNS you type in that and it should be the first link here if you click onto that now you're onto the site where you can get started you pop into your you don't have to do no downloads or anything like that you get started and you pop in your information you set up an account it's, it's free and uh, you can do so many different upgrades to it it gives you if there's no viruses on it because it actually gives you protection from viruses because it's a different server uh, and this server is protected by a quite a powerful antivirus system and quite many firewalls. Uh, on this site, you can also go on to how it works features. On the features, you can go on to stuff like uh, you can go on to you can create shortcuts for it. You can do um, adult site blocking for if you don't want your kids to go on sites that they shouldn't be going on. 
um, you can go on st uh, statistics to see how, how, how your system is doing and how um, fast your internet's working at. Uh, once you're on that, you can go on the dashboard and community. Once you uh, once you open and register with the site, uh, you can go on the dashboard and you can find out all the information. Like they do with different surveys on you to show how your systems improved since you logged onto DNS uh, uh, the Open DNS servers and things like that. Uh, I'm going to post the video. I tried to do one before, but it was too long and uh, the file was too big, and YouTube rejected it. I'm going to be showing you how to optimize your uh, internet settings and all your settings on your computer to make sure it will speed up your laptop or desktop and your internet options and all the stuff like that. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. Any comments, uh, I'll be pleased to answer. I'll, I'll be pleased to answer them. Uh, so please subscribe and thank you very much for watching. Cheers.